Hello, I am Ari Walker and I am a student at Rio Design High School in Utah. I'm just talking about a service project that I have been involved in in the last year. So I am on the executive council. We put on a huge fundraiser called Rivercock Christmas. This is a fundraiser to not only help the students in our school, but to help the families in our community as well. This is a month long fundraiser where we do events all throughout the month and activities during school and outside of school to raise money. This project was carried on by not only the school, but our executive council, which is eight of us. And it was a really big project to put on, so we had a lot of things that were like split up between different people, but I would say that we all had a pretty equal role. It was really important to us to be understanding of the students too and to be a good example of the things that we wanted them to do. We made it very clear that it was important for us to be supportive and helping in all of these events if we were expecting the students and parents to do the same. This is a project that has taken place at Redesign since it has opened, but we wanted to make it different for the students that had been there for the last three years. Carrying out this project, it took a lot of meeting together and deciding which activities were going to be appealing and which ones were going to raise the most money and be new things that students would be excited about doing. We had to come up with different types of activities and different ways to raise money that weren't repeats of the year before. We hosted a multi-high school dance inviting all of the high schools in the valley, which is five where I live, to come to a dance and to pay to get in. That raised a lot of money, but it took a lot of advertising and we had to find people that were willing to play music for us and take pictures for us and open the school, help us clean up the school, help chaperone. We also did this thing called Minute to Give It, where at every single high school event, we would take one minute to run around all of the crowd with baskets and they could just put whatever spare change they had in there. We did parking lot change for the students and parents after school to stand in the entryways of the parking lot and collect the money that they came through. So we had to make a schedule of who was able to be there at those games and after those games to collect the money. We also put on silent auctions and this was probably the most time consuming event we did. But starting in October, we had to go around to all of the businesses in the valley and ask who was willing to help us out. If they had anything that they were willing to donate or if they were able to help us out with these events in any way. So we split it up equally between the eight of us and we all spent a couple days talking to all of our businesses. They all gave us items that we were able to use at a silent auction that we would put on before events and we would have bidding and then we had to plan all these out, organize, put the prices on. Lots very time consuming, but very rewarding. A huge part of getting this to work out was making sure that everything was advertised. For all of our events, we had to get a lot of posters out to other schools if they, it was involving other schools. We would go through the schools contacting such as like email or phone calls or text messages, things like that to get out to the parents to let them know and encourage their students to help us with what was going on that week. We also had a lot of posters and announcements and our school news go out to the students to make sure that they were aware as well. This took a lot on our part to encourage like our friends and the students that we go to school with to spread the word during lunch to get them all involved in the activities that we were putting on. It took a lot of planning. <laughs> this took place during the month of December for the first 22 days of December and we started it in October. After all of these events that we had done throughout the month of December, we had raised around $15,363, which was the most that our school has ever raised, so we were very proud of ourselves. And with this money, we were able to buy a big Christmas dinner for a list of families that we knew that needed our help in the valley. We were able to put this together as well as like a toiletry package and some gift cards to grocery stores for the families and individual gift cards for each of the children in the family. And the most rewarding part of this whole project was we got to go deliver those a couple nights before Christmas. Throughout the whole entire month of December, we were at the school from around 6 in the morning until like 9 or 10 at night, and it got really tiring and really frustrating, but it was the most rewarding thing I've ever done. Make sure that we got all of the things that we needed done. We had meetings daily. During these meetings, we would check up on the things that we were in charge of to make sure that the person that was in charge of it had it planned out and that they could give us their assignments of the things that we needed to do to help them out just to make sure that we were all on the same page, that we knew what was going on and that if anyone needed help planning something, we could help them figure it out. We would make sure that all of the things that we had to plan were planned in a week in advance to make sure that if there was any like faults in our little schedules that we would be able to fix it before the time came to actually carry out the event. Our outcome of this event was absolutely amazing. I don't think any of us could have been happier. Thank you very much for listening.